Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and for those that have a broken Google Chrome browser. A lot of you do from what I see in the comments. So mine is working fine right now, but a lot of you have actually used Google Chrome and at some point yesterday or today, blank page. We're not really sure exactly at what end and where that happens, um, but there's a temporary fix that I'll show you if you need to use Chrome for now. Uh, you can use, of course, Microsoft Edge or any other browser that you have installed and wait. Or, if you absolutely need Chrome, here's the little trick. Uh, it is not a Windows problem, once again. A lot of people are complaining about Windows. Not a Windows problem. It's a Google Chrome problem. My uh, Google Chrome says that they are looking at what is a problem and they're going to issue a fix. So you need to close all the instances of Google Chrome running. Make sure that it's not running. You will go into your file explorer. Here, you will go into the view tab at the top. Make sure that you have a check mark in hidden items. It's very important because you won't see the folders I'm gonna show you if that little check mark is not there. Once that is done, you can go to the C drive you can go into your users here click your own user account one of the folders there is your user account mine is the one here at the top it's not the public one or not the default one but it's one of the ones if you have multiple um, users it's possible you have multiple here but choose your user account in here you will go into app data you'll go into local you will go into Google, then Chrome, user data, and you're gonna go down. There's a file called local state. You can right click on it and delete. Now, one of the things I would say before deleting it is you might wanna make a copy and send a copy somewhere else. So you can right click, copy, go into another folder say documents in my case and here I can actually right click and paste which means that I made a copy and documents of this file and of course then I can go back so when that copy is done right click click delete once that is done when you open Google Chrome you should actually be back at a working state but it contains your user data so there's going to be a difference possibly some of your things are not going to be there or your local accounts or your syncing but at least it's going to get you google chrome back up and working so that's the only temporary fix right now and of course as soon as there's an official fix i will post a video and talk about it if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.